Hey! How you doing guys? I'm Jake Billin. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to do a little experiment with the three machines in the office here that I've got. I've got the Surface Pro 3 running Windows 10. I've got the Office Machine running Windows 10. And I've got the Surface Pro Original running Windows 10. Now the one common denominator with these three machines is they all have quad-core processors. So the two surfaces have Intel i5 processors with 4GB of RAM. We're going to set up a client version of Windows 10 in Hyper-V as well to see how we get on. Obviously this machine here is also running a uh, quad-core with the name of the A107850K. Now these two both have the same amount of memory, so 4GB each. I'm going to set the virtual machines to have 2GB on both the surfaces and 2 gig on the desktop office computer as well. And let's just see which one uh, sets up first. They've both got SSDs in the Surface Pros and the office machine obviously as well has the 840 Pro from Samsung sitting in there. So it will be interesting to see what, what happens here. Oh, hello. Hyper-V is on the screen, we've got ourselves a new virtual machine. So English United Kingdom, let's go through this, install now, install now, and install now. So what we'll do is we'll hit all three of these off at the same time, see how long it takes them to um, create a VM and get it all up and running. Obviously I appreciate it's going to be asking for product keys like it is now, we'll have to click skip on that product key, you see, product key. Product key, custom installation, get it all ready to start, custom installation. So all three of these are now ready to image at the same time. Oh, set up. On your marks, get set, go. Okay, they've all started, here we go. So the Surface Pro 3 is currently on 14%. Whoa, right out on the lead there. 24% on the desktop. Down at 15% here. Seventy six per cent, ninety six per cent, seventy six per cent. Oh, it's close. Oh, and the desktop is finished. Copying the installation whim across. The Surface Pros are neck and neck. Of course, running from the Samsung eight forty Pro SSD in here, an absolute beast of a solid state drive, 520 odd meg megabytes read write. Oh no, we booted from the installation media. Eject, stop, start. Let's not boot from the installation media. Windows is getting ready. About to hit return on the two surfaces to make them uh, reboot. All four have been given four core processors to work with and two gig of RAM. And obviously they're all running SSDs as well. Desktop is way ahead at this point. But then I guess with the, uh, the massive 500 megabyte read write on the hard drive it would be. <laughs> there we go. Use express settings. 
So it has to be said at this point, the surfaces are pretty much neck and neck. There's not an awful lot of difference between the two models in terms of hard drive performance or processor or memory speed. They've set up at practically the same speed. They've, you know, within 30 seconds or so. There we go, they're both at the same stage. And the desktop is way ahead, but I expected that anyway. But between the two surfaces, they're pretty much neck and neck. They're identical in terms of their speed. There we go. Let's do this later. Use Express. I don't know why it asks you twice in Windows 10 with the RTM to uh, activate Windows because it, it's already asked once. There's a Surface Probe 1. This is my favourite tablet out of the two. I'm not really sure why. I think it's just the, the weight of it. I like the, the bulkiness of it. It's just a good tablet. It works well. Not that the 3 doesn't, but... And there we have it. The desktop PC has reached the personalization screen. There we go. That took eight minutes. Not bad. Eight minutes to set up on the desktop. Eight minutes 20 on the Surface Pro 1. That's surprising. The Surface Pro 1 is actually ready before the Surface Pro 3 is. Surface Pro 3 is still getting ready. Wow, that's uh, that's really surprised me actually, guys, because they were both, you know, at one stage the Surface Pro 3 was a few seconds ahead, a few steps ahead. That has really surprised me. There we go, and they're all at the same screen again. Let's set up the personalization on them all. Okay, and they're all configuring the user profile now, local administrator account, just called it user. And here we go, they're setting up now. This won't take long, guys. This won't take long. This won't take long. I've lost it. Uh, yeah, so these three are now setting up. Looking good. Okay, the Surface Pro 3 is actually finished before the Surface Pro 1 now on the personalization screen. There we go. And then the desktop just came in as well. Here we have it. They're all on the same screen now. So in that, in total that took 10 minutes to set up all three machines. Um, in the end they were pretty much neck and neck as you saw. And um, they're now up and running. Very little difference in speed between the Surface Pro 3 and the original Surface Pro. So there's no real performance gain between the two tablets in reality, in, in real world terms. The uh, read write on the desktop PC was obviously far advanced to the surfaces, which I kind of thought would happen anyway. Overall, 10 minutes to set up a VM isn't too bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, when there's 10s now on these machines and uh, fully usable. He says. There we go. Fully usable. Nice looking OS. So running Windows 10 within Windows 10 here. And that's that. So moral of the story is Windows 10 is pretty good for virtualization. And also you can set up a VM in 10 minutes. That's not bad. Um, between the two services, there's not a lot of difference in performance really, in Hyper-V terms anyway. Um, all three of these computers have the same spec set up there. And um, yeah, finished in relative time really, all relative to each other. So, that sums that up. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you next time. See ya!